jailed after a violent and unprovoked attack on a Sussex woman, which she says triggered the death of her father. Frank Milligan died of a stroke the day after the incident in Burgess Hill, but there wasn't medical evidence to link the two events, and charges against the men were reduced from manslaughter to a fray. Well, in sentencing, Judge Guy Anthony said he hoped that the men all had a lurking doubt that they'd played a part in Mr Milligan's death. His family say they've been robbed of justice. Peter Whittlesey reports. Arriving at court today, Joshua Hughes, Hayden Garrett and John Venn. They burst into a cafe in Burgess Hill, swearing and shouting at the family who were working late, putting the finishing touches to the premises before it opened. Natalie Cadman asked them to leave. Then they caused a disturbance outside. Her father, Frank Milligan, stepped in to protect his daughter, only to be squared up to by John Venn. Shortly afterwards, he died. Today, Miss Cadman described the ordeal. To feel fear like that was something that I, I'm not... I've never been as afraid as I was then. And can you put into words how you were feeling at that moment when all of it was kicking off outside the shop and you were struck in the mouth? No, petrifying. Hughes, Garrett and Venn were all initially charged with manslaughter. The charges were dropped after the judge ordered a medical report. Today they were convicted of a fray. We were hoping to uh, try and go to an appeal to enforce the manslaughter charge for my father. Obviously today was uh, they pleaded guilty and they were sentenced by the judge for a fray. So they are guilty for something. Even though that my father collapsed and died shortly after the attack. Judge Guy Anthony said no one from Frank Milligan's family would ever believe his fatal stroke was unconnected with the events of that night, but it wasn't supported by the medical reports. However, those who were there said they noticed an immediate change in his health. But as he went to defend me, I turned, his face was bright red. I've never seen anyone's face so red as his was. Um, and from that point onwards, he wasn't the same. He went quiet. And that's why Mr Milligan's family say they will continue their fight. Uh, well, Peter is in Lewis for us now, where the case has been heard today. Um, Peter, Mr Milligan's family, are they planning any further action? Well, his family say they won't give up. They still want to pursue the charges of manslaughter. But the Crown Prosecution Service said after medical reports were ordered by the court, there was no realistic prospect of prosecution. Even in this case, the judge said to the non-medical eye, it looks like there is a link, but there isn't the burden of proof. Meanwhile, Sussex police have today welcomed the sentences of a year for all three defendants. Peter, thank you.